I think it's time to blow this thing. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you one simple change that could be made to the Crucible that would greatly enhance the experience for just about everyone. Now, what could that change be? What is it that's so obvious that only I know that nobody else has suggested yet? Well, it's actually to do with Destiny 2's radar and how it works in Destiny 2 compared to how it worked in Destiny 1. Now, if you don't know what I mean, if you never played Destiny 1 before and you're like, what does this guy mean? The radar's fine, the radar's, you know, works just fine the way it is. And the actual functioning of the radar, there is nothing wrong with that. What I'm talking about is how quickly you get your radar back. Do you see that? How I'm instantly getting my radar back, it disappears and it's instantly back. Whenever I ADS, it comes back. That is Destiny 1 radar, otherwise known for Destiny 2 players as your radar when you have the mod radar tuner equipped on your gun. That's the thing though, you need to put the mod on it in order to get Destiny 1 radar. And I think that's a good idea in practice, but actually, practically speaking, they need to make this radar the universal function of how it works at all times. You should not need the mod in order to have this benefit of the radar because it's not year one anymore. Destiny 2 year one, I kind of understand why the radar worked that way. And if you don't understand still, there's a radar tuner mod for you. You have to apply this to the gun. And basically, I'm going to show you now the radar that you all know and love or hate. I don't know. But let's put on my spare rations real quick because obviously it doesn't have radar tuner. And now if you look at the radar, you can see that delay, that little delay, it's like half a second. That needs to go, man. That needs to go. Now, as I was saying just before, if I got a little bit sidetracked, why was the radar changed in that way from Destiny 1 to D2? Why was that delay added? Well, I have a theory that the delay to the radar was added because of the nature of the Destiny 2 Year 1 4v4 double primary low time to kill team shot meta. The devs knew that people were going to be bunched up a lot at this time in that sandbox. They were going to hold hands, they were going to look at one lane and they were going to team shot. And in order to give flankers a hope in hell of actually, you know, pulling a flank off, they added that delay to the radar so that people wouldn't be ultra aware whilst they were also laning with double primaries. They couldn't have that advantage of knowing every little detail about where you are. To be fair, the radar gives away plenty of information as it is. Some could say the range on it is too long, but that delay was implemented to try and aid someone who's stupid or brave enough to make a solo push in Destiny 2 Year 1. I was that guy, by the way. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. So the radar, that delay, it worked fine in, you know, that sandbox. But now, you know, it's year two going on to year three of Destiny 2. And we're no longer in a double primary sandbox, boys. We're in a Jotun auto tracking semi fucking heated missile across the map from Zimbabwe. We're talking about mountaintop, a little mini rocket launcher. We're talking about dust rock blues. We're talking about, you know, Erentil. The Crucible is ran by one hit kill weapons and you're punished so severely for engaging with your primary, especially in quick play, that when you ADS, you know, you get a kill. By the time you finish getting that kill, that little delay on the radar means you don't have fully, you know, a full grasp of your surroundings. What happens? Buckshot Bob walks up behind you and he shots you up the ass. And it's fucking annoying, isn't it? And if the radar worked the way it did in Destiny 1, you'd have seen him coming way faster. That little delay it's a real hindrance in this current sandbox. We're talking about maps that were designed primarily for 4v4. Those maps now have four additional players playing on those maps, which makes things far more chaotic. You're talking five super mods, two shotgun scavenger perks, bottom tree strike, you know, the crucible is absolute bedlam. And the radar working as it currently does really, really empowers someone who's just running around with a shotgun and it really hinders someone who wants to make plays with their primary. Now, as you can see in the gameplay, I am using my rose with the radar tuner and I'm pretty confident in engaging with my primary pretty much at all times because whenever I want, I can let go of ADS and I have my radar available to me. And if Buckshot Bob's coming from behind, looking to give me the business, I'm ready for him. Do you know what I mean? And it's a real, real benefit to your game for the radar to work this way. The problem is though, it's a mod. You shouldn't have to choose this should be a simple design change made by the developers and hopefully, I don't know if they're already on this idea, maybe they aren't. If anybody at Bungie is watching this, I don't know shit about development and coding. I don't know how hard it is to implement, but basically make the game have radar tuner full time 
let's delete radar trigger from the game and let's tune everybody's radar to work this way. It only makes sense. Like I said, I've given the reasons there's so many chaotic elements in the game, more players, infinite amount of one hit kill weapons. Who loses out? The guy trying to use his primary. It's so frustrating for me as well. Like, I'll be ADSing, I'll be challenging a guy, and I'm, you know, I'm a relatively aware player. The sound cues in this game are not that bad as you think as well. So even without radar, they're still pushing me from behind. I do know, like I do know, nine times out of ten. But at the end of the day, for the average player, I think the experience would be greatly enhanced if you made that change. It would also just help, you know, good players as well who like to primary a lot. It's going to help you, and I think. Adding a, something that's going to aid players who want a primary is something that the Crucible needs right now. Because obviously, you know, we've been from one extreme to the other, it feels like. You had the absolute extreme of double primary, low time to kill. Um, sorry, not low time to kill, high time to kill. And that is awful. Obviously, Bungie did a fantastic job to make the reversion that they did. It wasn't easy to make all those changes. I've got a lot of respect for the way they turned it around. But we've kind of gone too far the other way there now, where it's just too dominated by special weapons. Now, what am I asking for? I'm not asking for double primary again. I'm just asking for my radar to come back as soon as I stop ADSing, because it's going to give me that split second to take care of business and put Buckshot Bob in his place. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice little weird out of medals for you guys there as well. Oof, we are going in in this match. Um, so basically guys i want to also know what your thoughts are on the topic is this something that's crossed your mind i decided to do a video on this because i've basically not seen anyone really talk about this topic and it's something that's been bothering me for a while it's like this is a change that needs to be made you know when you change the sandbox when you add in all the one hit kill weapons the change made to radar should really you know that should be changed as well because i feel and maybe i'm wrong if anyone working at Bungie wants to hit me up and be like, actually, no, we made this change to the radar just as an overall design choice and that it's not influenced at all by the double primary 4v4 team shot sandbox, then fair enough, maybe it'll never happen. But maybe it's something they've overlooked and, uh, you know, this could help out immensely. All those guys complaining about getting fusioned in the back, about getting shotgunned, you know, all the people complaining about that, it would help them out a lot. And I would enjoy it too, because I just feel like it would quicken the pace of the game as well. Obviously being able to quickly look in, go for your shots on the guy far away, be aware of what's behind you. It encourages more risk taking, it encourages a more confident play style, and it just encourages a more dynamic you know, way to play the Crucible, in the sense that people are going to be primarying and shotgunning. People are going to be sniping and primarying. People are going to be fusion rifling and, okay, I'm just kidding, no one's going to be primarying when using air until. But you get what I'm saying though, right? You, you get my point. And I just thought it'd be good to do a video on this and to talk about this because I don't see anyone talking about it. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this suggestion. Do you think it's a good play? Do you think it's a bad move? Let me know. If you enjoyed the video, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And also share this video. Send it to all your friends who play Destiny 2 because I want to know what the community thinks about this idea. Anyway, guys, I'm going to dip. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I will see you in the next video. Peace. You have advanced. Zone A captured. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. Only one minute left. Zone B lost. Zones control. Targets eliminated. Nice work. 